Welcome back, everybody. This is Weedy with Weeby Gaming, coming back with another video on water physics. This will be part four in my series on water physics, and in this video, I'm going to basically try to apply what I've learned in our previous videos, um, and I'm going to try and install a very basic plumbing inside of a fort that I have yet to build. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here is uh, what we've got here is uh, this is Alpha 15 and uh, if you've seen my other video uh, or a series of videos on building an enormous base um, this is kinda of going along with that now um, in order to build plumbing as we learned in the previous or an aqueduct I should say it's not really plumbing uh, in order to build an aqueduct, um, we have to build below the level of the lake. And if you're moving water any any kind of distance, um, it's going to have to be pretty deep because water does not like to travel laterally. I mean, you can make it you can make it do it, um, as I showed in my previous videos. Um, but basically, you're going to have to go pretty far down in order to move it any amount of distance over. So, that was part of the reason for deciding to build this massively, incredibly uh, impractical base. So I've got a nice, big, deep hole here, um, and I'm right next to the water. So, what I'm going to do is first decide where the aqueduct is going to be. Now, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far down from this edge here that my aqueduct is going to come out um, but part of the consideration is I want it to hopefully be somewhat far down so that in case a zombie happens to fall right where my aqueduct is it'll still die or at least be severely damaged um, now the only way I could figure to kind of figure uh, get the aqueduct started without actually having the water start running right away is I'm going to build a wall that goes down into the ground here kind of along the edge of the water and then I'm going to build another wall where I want it to come out or not a wall rather just place some blocks so I can uh, trying to think of how to say it. My aqueduct's going to go this way. I, I know where I want it to come out left to right. I don't know where it's going to come out up and down. So I'm going to build a wall here that goes into the ground and then I'm going to dig in the lake down and over to the wall that I've made and then what I'll do is I'll just upgrade the the wall right where the water's going to come out. Then I can dig down on this side of the wall and I'll know where to start on this side of the wall. I don't know, this is probably... I'll just do it. I'll get started on it. And then hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about instead of trying to explain this. I thought a lot about this and this is the best way I could come up with, but if you got a better idea, please leave it in the comments section because... Uh, there probably is an easier way. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and uh, we'll pick up a little bit later on. All right, folks, so this is kind of what I was... Well, this is what I was trying to get at. Uh, I've got a row of frames here, so I know where this pipe is going to come out um, as far as, you know, left to right, as I'm looking at it now. Um... I still don't know how deep it's going to come out of the, that wall, but we'll figure that out. Now on this side, what I'm going to do is I've got this wall that goes all the way down there. Um, I don't know how deep, it's just pretty deep. I was kind of eyeballing it. And what I'll do is basically dig the inlet to the aqueduct up to this wall. And then I'll mark, I'll upgrade one block where the uh, where the aqueduct aqueduct inlet hits this well 
so I'll know where it's going to come out on this side. And then I'll dig this over and into there so that I can lay out the aqueduct before I actually start get getting the water running because um, I'd like to not have to clean up a big mess of water. Um, so once we get it out to this side then uh, we're gonna set up the, the uh, essentially the I'll call it plumbing for the base but really it's probably gonna be you know a couple of small uh, wells on different levels so uh, I'm gonna keep crack cracking at it and uh, we'll pick this up a little bit further along okay folks um, as you can see I'm encountering a bit of a problem that we did not have in Alpha 14 or at least not to this extent um, I started digging I basically laid out where I wanted the inlet for the aqueduct to be and I started digging down from there and as you can see we've developed quite a hole in the water um, yeah it's uh, pretty crazy so um, I don't know I guess this is kinda telling me that uh, an aqueduct of any meaningful use is no longer possible. Um, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and persevere anyway. Much like what happened with my attempt to undercut a huge chunk of land. It didn't work, and so now we're just going to rep replicate what we would want to happen. So, I'm going to work on that, and... We'll see where it goes from there. Alright, we're back. And as you can see, our problem of displaced water has gone from bad to worse. But what we have in place here is a concrete block lined aqueduct, um, which comes from an inlet to the right over there, does a 90 degree angle. And on the other side of this dirt that I've started to replace is the wooden wall we built. I have marked one block as the level of the water in the aqueduct, so when I start again on the other side of the wall, I'll know where to start from. I left one block open here so we can walk down to the end of that wall if we want to. And this is the in the intake which uh, right now appears to be entirely flooded or rather not entirely flooded uh, this one single hole is the uh, the inlet um, and I would be putting some iron bars over this um, so if we go down here, if we can get down there, alright, there is our one modified block, so that was the level of the, of the intake. So, what I'm going to do now is continue to fill this in with dirt, and we're going to have to basically go into the creative menu grab some water blocks and hope that we can patch this giant hole with uh, some water blocks. We'll see. Uh, this entire project has kind of gone off the rails because <laughs> it was supposed to start as something plausible and as we can see from this the water physics just aren't there to make it happen. Um, at least not that I can figure out. So we'll just we'll just replicate what we wanted to happen. All right, and uh, we'll pick this up once I get a little bit more. All right, folks. So I am back. Uh, 
after getting a little bit more progress done on the beginning of the aqueduct. Um, as you can see, the lake is flattened out again. I went into creative mode, found some water blocks, and let me tell you, it is a pain in the ass trying to figure out uh, how to get the water to go to fill in all those big dents because uh, you can only per put them like sometimes you try and place it and you click and nothing happens so um, if anybody has a trick or knows what is going on with placing water uh, leave a comment in the uh, leave me a comment and let me know what the trick is because uh, yeah it just took a long time messing around so uh, here we go we got the uh, water inlet here it's uh, all dug and uh, recovered going over here and up to the wooden wall I built. And then if we go down in this pit, I have the uh, spot right here where it's going to come out. And I've already laid um, another length of aqueduct here. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I'm going two blocks out, one down, two blocks out, one down uh, throughout the length so far. And then we have out here our outlet. So from here, my plan is to continue angling down with a supported uh, aqueduct. And it's going to basically go down and wrap around a building I'm going to put down here. So I'll have outlets on at least two different floors uh, for the aqueduct. And I think I'm going to try using hatches as basically a faucet on and off. Um, one thing that I don't know about with that is, um, although it would seem common sense that it would, I do not know for certain that those hatches are watertight. I mean, they look like they are, but who really knows? So. Um, that's that. Uh, we got the, basically the first half, unfortunately probably the easy half, um, all done up to the edge of this, uh, great chasm. And we'll see how the rest of it goes. All right. So, I've got the basic layout of the aqueduct finished. And here you can see... It's continuing from the lake down here and to the bottom of my pit. And we're keeping that uh, 2 to 1 ratio all the way around. Now some of these support pylons are going to be probably absorbed into the uh, exterior wall of the base that I'm going to build in here. Maybe. I don't know. It might be insanely too large, but we'll see. Um, but it does give me plenty of opportunity to um, route some of the water to different floors in my base. So the next step for me is going to be uh, to actually enclose these... Uh, basically the route of the aqueduct because if I just turn the water on now it's gonna fall off the top um, and I am gonna enclose it at least for the section that is nearest to the wall where it comes out there and probably put some log spikes on top but uh, for the remainder I'm not sure that I really need to do that but we'll see um, it all, it'll all depend on whether a zombie could hypothetically fall onto the uh, section by the wall here and then walk down. If, if I can't prevent that, then I'll have to enclose the whole thing. But, all right. Well, I'm going to keep on trucking and uh, get, this thing, uh, get this thing done. Okay, so as you can see, I now have an enclosed aqueduct going all the way down to the bottom and 
up here I decided what I'm going to try to begin with is this section is covered from the wall to where the edge of my uh, the exterior wall on my base will be and here I will have a concrete wall going up with an overhang so the uh, spider zombies can't crawl up to the top of my base from here so the only place for them to go will be to sit here which will be covered in log spikes or to fall off which should for the most part take care of most zombies between the spikes and the fall now I did have a horde last night and I had a few zombies that walked down at least part, part of the way down the aqueduct um, and I had some zombies come down here and I can't tell if they had spawned like behind me when I wasn't looking or something because I never saw any of them uh, I just saw them coming running at me out of the dark I couldn't see where they came from so maybe they spawned at the bottom of the pit um, I had one of the, the uh, cop zombies down here and was barfing at me and again I don't know if he survived the fall or if he spawned down here or if he walked halfway down and then fell um, so we'll see how that works out um, but if nothing else I'm gonna I've already planned to have an area around the base of my uh, fort down here that's gonna be something I can shoot at anything that does survive um, so I'm gonna keep on building here um, I may or may not have the base completed for the final final segment of this video because I don't wanna I don't want to start adding like spouts from my aqueduct until I know where my floors are gonna be I don't want the spouts to dictate where my floors have to be um, so, uh, we'll see. But so far, aside from being totally impractical, it's kind of worked out the way I had in my head. Um, so we'll see you for the, uh, probably for the conclusion of this video. Alright gamers, we have reached the moment of truth. We finished um, installing the intake side earlier of our aqueduct. Um, I have a transition here blocking water flow to the remainder of my aqueduct and I have built my aqueduct and my building up to include the aqueduct so we have basically indoor plumbing hopefully so now we have to see is this all going to work and in order to do that I am going to release the water flow So, here we go. That was stupid. And... I've got no water. I know I got water in there. There's some water. Keep going. There it goes. 
those. Alright. Let's go check out. It'll probably take a while to get to the bottom. Let's see. Wait here. Hopefully the water comes through. On water, you can do it. I believe in you. I should have left the cover off that first part. Well, we might have to fast forward through part of this video and wait for the water, all the way for the water. Hopefully it's coming. There you can see our, the end tape. There's water down there still. Well, we'll come back in uh, a couple hours and see if the uh, water has gotten moving at all. I really hope I don't have to dig everything up and help it along. Alright folks, it uh, looks like I've come across a possible problem. Um, it looks like in Alpha 15, water no longer flows through iron bars. And if you remember from a previous video I did during Alpha 14, um, we determined that water did flow through iron bars. However, in this case, it's clearly not. So, I'm going to go through my system here and remove the iron bars. And I'm going to have to, I guess, depend on... I might try putting in a hatch on the intake. Um, well, that seems kind of silly. I'm not going to be able to use it then. Um, all my plumbing basically uses bolt doors, so I guess if a zombie happens to get in the aqueduct, I'm going to have to depend on the door to keep it out. So I'm going to keep working on this, and hopefully we can get the all water. All right, everybody. Running. It looks like this is as far as I'm going to get with the aqueduct. It looks like the entire experiment has been a failure. Um, a couple things I think must have changed between Alpha 14 and Alpha 15. Um, the one I, we already talked, I already talked about was the fact that, um, iron bars, water apparently does not flow through them any longer. Um, and I don't think... It seems like it's just not flowing as much as it was before. I mean, I shortened... In my very first video, I had uh, some of each of these levels. I had going out four steps from where it uh, dropped down. I've shortened that to two in all but one of these steps. Um, it seemed like I got a little bit better water flow when I um, had increased the size. I had originally in this part of the aqueduct, uh, the water was only... There was only space one block high, um, and I got the water to flow a little bit farther by increasing that to two, but still, as you can see, um, we did not make it anywhere near where I was hoping we would. Um, it's been at the same level for several days in-game now, so... Um, my original plan was to have the water coming from the lake through the ground there, down here, around the side of my building, and I had, uh, set up on several different levels, uh, small areas for water to collect if I opened a door. Um, kind of, kind of turning the doors into, um, 
a faucet, I guess. So if you were to use up the water in one of these small reservoirs, you just open the door and more water would flow in. Um, and this went all the way around the base here to the bottom level. Um, which is at bedrock. Um, so it was a cool idea, I guess. Um, and, I mean, and also, too, I mean, a lot of this was, as I started this project out, I very quickly realized that the scale of this that I'm building here is totally ridiculous and unrealistic. Um, but I, I guess I kind of wanted to see, like, how, how far could I push the water, or how could I... How far could I make the water travel also? I mean, so I could have just dug one linear trench and done the same thing, I guess, and just seen how far it went. So if you decide that you do want to build some type of aqueduct for your already existing or planned not far underground base, this is about how far you can get the water to travel uh, from this point from the lake, which as you can see is not terribly far. Um, I guess what I did do is build a quasi-tunnel to water so I don't have to <laughs> risk going up on the surface and running into zombies, um, but definitely not what I was aiming for. Um, and really, if you're building a base with this proximity to water, uh, it's a lot less work to just get out <laughs> and with a bucket and go get some water. Um, with that being said, since I have put... I mean, I'm not... I didn't build this whole thing just for an aqueduct. Uh, I had some other ideas I wanted to test out. And plus, I really, really wanted to... I've been wanting to, since the beginning, build something ridiculous. And I think this is just about gotten rid of that desire because this is a lot of freaking boring placing blocks. So there you have it, everybody. Um, at least until, until if and until the developers change some of these properties of water, um, an aqueduct is pretty much uh, infeasible or at least not worth the time it is to build one. Um, if anybody has any ideas for what I could have done differently, aside from not building the ridiculous thing that I built, um, you know, send me a, a, leave a, a message in the uh, comment section. Um, and if you like this video and liked, would like to see more others like it, by all means, subscribe. Um, so uh, until the next alpha, this will be the end of the Waterworks series for now. And this is Weedy with Weeby Gaming wrapping this one up. We'll see you in the next video and keep on gaming.